let me tell you a little bit about what Rust is about. Rust is a secret weapon. Rust is a community project. Rust has learned from the mistakes of the past. Rust is a systems programming language that is safe, concurrent, and fast. I've got one word for you. Rust. We're kind of at an inflection point in the history of computing where computers aren't getting faster. Years ago, processes were just getting faster and faster and faster and faster in terms of single execution. But then at some point, they ran into very fundamental limitations. And so what they started to do was to add more cores to processors. But to use those cores, you have to be writing your app in a new way that, that's actually trying to do more than one thing at the same time. Parallelism is factoring your code so that it can run on multiple cores or in multiple threads of execution at the same time. And it's a lot harder than it sounds. You'll find projects that will invest enormous amounts of effort improving the single processor performance of their code simply because they know that as soon as they spread their code across multiple processors, only wizards will be able to work on it. I've actually spent a lot of time you know, making things less parallel in order to reduce bugs, right? Because maybe sometime, like you know, a couple years ago when somebody was working on this code before I did, they thought, oh, well, I can make it faster by making it run you know, more concurrent and more in parallel. But there were all these little things that they didn't think about. And so often the solution was, you know, we just, you know, we don't get to have such nice things. And we are going to make this single threaded, not concurrent. And at least then we won't have these crashes. And it's really exciting then to work in a language that provides capabilities that allow us to do this safely. Um, because that means that we don't have to make the trade-offs between making things fast and responsive on one hand, and then on the other hand, making them stable and safe. Rust introduces programmers to an entirely new paradigm, which is ownership-oriented programming. The hard part of parallelism is deciding which thread should read from a given piece of memory at what time, and which threads can write to a given piece of memory. If any thread could change some variable that you're trying to, to use behind your back, uh, it makes it very hard to write correct code. And people get this kind of thing wrong all the time. At its core, Rust has a notion of ownership. Basically, at all times, every piece of data has a clear owner who has the access rights to, to read or modify that data. Just that step alone eliminates a huge range of pitfalls that people typically fall into with parallel programming. The same checks that allow Rust to catch your memory errors are the checks that allow Rust to catch your multi-threading errors, right? And so as a result, Writing multi-threaded code in Rust is not really that much harder than writing any other kind of code. Rust makes it possible not just to improve performance by you know, running your program on multiple processors simultaneously, but also to improve battery life. When you can spread your program over multiple processors, you have a choice. You can either run it faster, like, OK, I spread it across four processors. I'm going to run it four times as fast. Or you can run each of those processors at a quarter speed, and they use less battery. Because multi-threaded concurrent programming is no longer so risky, I think you're going to see people doing a much better job at exploiting the capabilities of modern hardware. We have a sign up in the San Francisco office. Have you heard about this sign? It's about 12 feet up in the air, and it says you must be this tall to write multi-threaded code. Um, and with Rust, it comes down to maybe even lower than my height. You can write parallel algorithms with C++, but you have to be that tall. <laughs> like, and so by getting more people able to write parallel algorithms so that it's not something that only the high priests can do, we're going to get more parallel execution, which just, you know, makes better use of your hardware. Having parallel programming, having multi-threaded programming not be wizard territory anymore is just incredibly liberating. I remember I was using a, a library uh, for writing web servers. I found out that actually this library that I had been using, it spins up eight threads and handles requests from the web in parallel in all these eight threads. So my program was already multi-threaded and I didn't even know it. My first reaction was, hey, you can't do that to me, right? I mean, I, I need to know. If you're going to run things in parallel, I'd, I'd better be informed about this. But then the answer is, no, actually, you don't. Because if it compiled, it was OK. By building that into the tools, into the language, and into the libraries, we can enable people who might have been afraid or had, just didn't have the time to build parallel systems to 
have the guarantees provided to you that what your code is writing is correct. And so what I think we're going to see going forward is that uh, parallelism, uh, concurrency, multi-threaded programming, they're easy now and they're going to get easier and easier and easier as people produce more and more um, ergonomic libraries that make it easier for you to take the task that you know could be spread across multiple processors and actually just, just do it. Come to Rust and you feel like you suddenly have superpowers. I love Rust. Congratulations on starting Rust. Go try Rust. <laughs>